All right. Can everybody hear this? Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry. I got wicked busy up at the office and I left and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> and I couldn't get in. I've been having weird problems with Zoom, so. Hold on one sec, everybody. All right. Is that... How do I make these people participants? Sarah, do you need us to call for help? It seems that there's an animal attacking you. An animal behind me? Oh, I appreciate my it. Cactus. Um, yeah. He's not currently screaming, <laughs> right. so I think I'm okay. <laughs> Amber, how do I make the attendees participants? Um, let, I can do that. Actually, yeah, hold usually on one I can, but, right. Yeah, it's, Zoom has been having problems for me today, so let me make you the co-host. Okay. All right, you should be able to do it now. Yeah, I'll try. All right, promote, actually. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Weird, huh? Yeah. Okay. Everybody here? I only see six people. I guess the others are not uh, on video. We're all panelists. Who are we missing from the official committee? Um, is Green here and. Bennett's here. I just have uh, been. I'm wandering okay. around my house looking for a suitable place to be without my children. <laughs> All right, sorry everybody, welcome. Um, can so can uh, Amber? Can you make someone else also host, and they could yes, I else, um, shares the screen with the agenda and stuff? Then I can. I ooh, all right. Hold Gordon, on. do you have the agenda handy? I do. So why don't you make Gordon the co-host? Okay. Maybe I can do that. I, all right, I just did it. Okay. So let me, I'm gonna duck up for a second. Oh no, not now. Okay. Hi, Amber. Thanks. Hi. I'm sorry, Alan. I got really, really busy at the office and I left and it slipped my mind. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> All right. I have to get your cell phone well, here. or something. Yeah, I'll email it to you tomorrow. Okay. All right. I will make Alan. Thanks, Amber. No problem. I'm going to make Alan the big host and then I am going to continue driving. <laughs> <laughs> Zooming and driving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good meeting. Thanks. Right. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks. Sarah has to leave in 10 minutes, so we should probably jump on the agenda right to her issues. Gordon, can you post the agenda? Or Alan, can you? I need to upload it in, in the chat. Is that what you mean? Share screen. Oh, sure. I can share screen. You see it? Yes. Yeah, yes. great. It means I can't take minutes, so if, uh... Oh, so you're the wrong person for this. Maybe. Um, well, let's just look at the agenda real quick and... Uh, okay. We should all have copies of it, so it's not... Yes, we all have copy, well, yeah. I can upload it to, uh, oh, actually, I don't know if I can upload the chat. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, the ordinance and the placards in five minutes quick. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to run. I have a night meeting for work. Um, the placards are up. They're hung all around town. Go check wow. them out. 
Um, I took photos of them and I'm going to send them to Shoshana to put on the Facebook for like a little treasure hunt or see if you find these spots around town just to uh, get that on social media, increase awareness. Um, I am drafting the uh, template for next year's um, mm -hmm. Cause if we do like plantings in town, even if they're small, we can highlight different things um, about those trees, but it'd be nice to have them in a high profile area um, and just get people thinking about trees and, um, you know, get a little bit more publicity for the tree committee and the work that we do. Um, so those things are all great. Um, and the, uh, Let me see if I have it here. The significant tree ordinance has been updated. Uh, I went through all the comments, did a round of revisions. Um, major changes include changing the definition of a significant tree to really only be trees with a DBH of 20 inches or larger, um, just to simplify the initial definition um, and make it easier to understand and hopefully easier to pass as well. Um, as a, hopefully it'll be a living document. So in the future, if there's changes that we wanna make, um, you know, that can be next steps. Uh, but I think for the purposes of getting this passed and getting an, an outline and something that can be approved, um, there it is. Mm. Uh, keeping it, you know, pretty simple and straightforward to start with is, it seems like a good idea. And there were a number of comments, um, you know, talking about any of the confusion um, along that line. Um, the second part was otherwise identified trees. If no one on the shade tree committee thinks we have any particular trees in mind that we want to identify as significant that don't have a DBH of 20 inches or larger, we can take that out. Um, there were some general, nope. any comments? Somebody said something I didn't hear. I was just asking if there are any opinions about that during like this, right? Yeah, I can't think of any trees. Um, I noticed you had, I was getting emails saying you had edited things I had posted about. So I was glad you did that, Sarah. Um, yeah, maybe we should leave it out for simplicity unless someone has an idea for a tree. It does seem like it might open the door a little bit to more questions. Like, does that mean that the committee can go in and declare a tree? I don't know. I think it would really be applicable if we had old significant trees that weren't 20 inches or larger. Mm -hmm. um, but considering the, the, the ecological systems that we have here in Amherst, we don't have, you know, things on the coast that stay stunted and small, even if they're significant or old. Um, we don't have a lot of like cliff faces or outcroppings where you have a similar condition. So I really don't think it's particularly applicable to our particular climate ecosystem and the trees that we have here. So I, I think they'd be fine taking it out. Um, and it, you know, if, if something in particular comes up, we could always, you know, try to do an addendum or something like that. Um, so if there's no objections, I think we'll, we'll take it out and keep it simple um, at this point. Yeah. Do you want me to do that now or do you want to leave to that later? Oh no, you go ahead, get in there. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right on screen. Yeah. Great. Well, that's good. We'll have any, a fuller any? discussion. Actually, Bennett, um, you were nominated to review it for, for, for grammar. So if at some point, if you want to take that on before the next meeting, even though it's not finished yet. 
Um, great. So one last thing um, on this, I'll I'll send I'll resend the link just so everyone has it um, for a final round of review. Um, Bennett can do an edit, um, and then I think we're in a good spot. So last thing before we we move off this, um, there were some questions about seven, just about like section seven as a penalty for removing the significant tree without approval. But I believe that was intended to be section six, which is called violations, which is the penalties for removing a tree without, you know, the violating it is removing a tree without approval. Um, so if no one, if that makes sense to everyone, um, I think we can keep how do I locate significant trees on my property as section seven and maybe just add a little bit of clarifying language to section six about this, these are the penalties. Violation means you removed a tree without approval and these are the penalties. Sounds good. Everyone else? Sounds great to me. Yep. Okay, good, thank you. I'm not gonna do that now. It looks like that'll take some thinking. Yeah, that's that's fine. I, I can get in there and do that. Um, great. So I'll I'll just resend the link, make these couple updates, um, resend the link for anyone who wants to have a, another look over it. Um, and Bennett, we can be in touch about doing just like a good text edit, making sure that everything's spelled correctly, that it's all clear and easy to understand. Um, and then I think we're ready to make a meeting with town council um, or we can, I don't know if anyone thinks we should go before planning or coordinate with them, but we're re we'll be ready for next steps at that point. Um, so we can reach out and start uh, moving this forward. That was great. great. Do we have a sense of who it goes to first? Uh, Sarah, you're kind of dancing around it because I don't know any better than you do, but. Well, so town council is is the one who has to approve it, but I didn't yep. know when we can talk about this if we want to sure. coordinate with the planning or zoning first. Um, obviously, we'd want to make them aware of this, um, but they don't. We don't necessarily need pre approval from them, so that's just something that we can talk about. And if right. anyone has any contacts or how we decide we want to go about it. And would a legal review happen after that? Like, would that be part of the town's process? I think um, so, but that's a good question. So maybe I can get in touch with town council and just see what they recommend. Yeah, I can, um, I'll jump in there. So we're gonna need to, um, you know, each department ultimately will end up looking at this and seeing if you know, they have any concerns or how it interacts with other, you know, things that they have on the books. Um, and then uh, the town manager would take a look at it and, um, then it would go to town council, uh, the town lawyers, I should say. Um, and then, uh, you know, I think after it's been put through a pretty strict uh, review, it would then go to the town council. That's my understanding, but. Um, okay. We're not well, there yet, but we're very close. Do you know a good person to contact for the first outreach effort? Um, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll take it to uh, Guilford Mooring um, and we'll start with the Department of Public Works and uh, run it through the review there. Um, and then once we've, you know, looked at it and determined how it's going to interact with all the, our rules and regulations um, and how we could fit it into, into that, um, we then move it on to the next, kind of go to the next level, which might be planning. Um, so. Okay, that sounds great. Okay. All right, I've Thanks, got to Sarah. run. Um, sorry, guys. Um, okay, when, one last thing. I think we should sort of roughly finalize it before we send it on, though. I'm sorry, you, I, you broke me? up. I just couldn't hear you. Um, I think we should finalize it you know, here before, so we may need one more month to meet again on it. Okay, that sounds good. I'll send out the link, make the updates. Um, okay. Then we can final review in next month. Great, and uh, can you send me your hours for November and December? Yes. 
Good. Thank you. All right. All Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye, sir. Take care. All right. So let's backtrack. Uh, uh, first, Gordon, are you able to take minutes? Yeah, I am, but but it makes my screen not really very shareable because I'm typing. All right, right so uh, get rid of that then. Don't worry about it. I just want to keep track okay. if we get new participants. Uh, uh, okay. To be, yeah. So all right, um, let's uh, start off uh, back at the beginning. Welcome, and we have Bruce Griffin visiting, and uh, maybe interest in the committee. Uh, usually, we have everyone give a little talk about why they're here. So I'll let you do that if you don't mind, Bruce. Um, well, I, I've uh, been interested in the Shade Tree Committee for quite a few years. Uh, I was on the Conservation Commission before, uh, and I, uh, within the last uh, month or two, I guess I put in, uh, uh, I filled out one of the uh, sheets for at Town Hall, and uh, then I got an invitation to this Zoom meeting. So. <laughs> I, here I am, okay. just listening in. Good. Welcome. I'm sorry, I missed the end. Of cut out. Uh, well, I just I just said that uh, um, I had your invitation to uh, show up for this meeting, so here I am. I I haven't had any other communication with the committee uh, in the last few months. And then he said he was gonna stage a coup, Henry. <laughs> you missed no, that part. I terrible internet. That I missed the end again, cause it, uh, I got cut out, sorry. <laughs> You've been deposed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Gina, I see you have your hand up, but uh, Bruce, did you have, did I miss something important at the end? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just listening in at the moment. Uh, I, uh, I was informed that the Shade Tree Committee uh, was looking for members. I filled out a form at Town Hall and then I didn't hear anything more until I got the invitation to this meeting. Okay, there's supposed to be in, uh, someone at Town Hall is supposed to be inviting everyone to uh, an interview with the town manager. And um, I got possible dates when that would happen and then I didn't hear back and Alan knew. Okay, well, I'm still interested and I'll uh, stand by. Okay, Alan, did you hear? You're cutting out. I heard. Yes, I heard. So what I said was um, we got a, a couple of date possibilities and then I didn't hear back. Have you heard back? I have not. No, not from uh, town hall. No. Okay, I'll look into that, uh, Bruce, soon. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah. Gina? Hi, thanks, Henry. Hi, everyone. I just want to let you know that Marty James Jameson whom some of you might remember came with me to the last planting. She tried to join, but we were having all this problem. So she kind of figured it wasn't happening, but she is interested. Thank you. Good, thanks. All right, uh, so what's on the agenda? I'm gonna bring up my own agenda somewhere here. Okay. All right, uh, there's no hearings. Any other announcements or comments? No. Oh yeah. Um, do we want to do another um, another trivia night tomorrow? Oh yes. Um, it's on my calendar. All right. Yeah, I'd love to join. Do okay, we have to I sign know. up individually, or are you signed us up? I'll I'll sign us up as a team, and okay. then you guys can PayPal me the um, the amount. Hopefully, we can get a fourth person. Do we got a fourth? It's, it's fun. fun. It's a Zoom trip yeah, it's through the Hitchcock Center. Is um we is Julian here? He was talking about maybe. We were tied for first place. 
What's that? Julian, did you want to join? Yeah, I have a weekly obligation on that night. Um, oh, okay. Every time, I, so I, I checked it, that out. Um, sorry about that, guys. Hey, sorry, Julian, I didn't mean to talk over you. I, I'm, not, I'm not joining, but what is it? I mean, I understand what trivia is. Yeah, um, the Hitchcock Center has like a trivia night thing. I guess they've been doing it monthly. We just started um, last month, we did it. And essentially it, like each team goes to a breakout room and discusses their answers to a series of questions and then they bring them back and we go over the answers and, and it's kind of fun. It goes on for, I don't know, like 40 minutes or something. It wasn't that long. It felt like it went no, by really fast. Longer than that, hour and a half. Was it? Two sets. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, it flew it by in my mind. It seemed, <laughs> it seemed like last time. But there's a lot of different we people from the community for and stuff. First and then. Yeah. Yeah. And then. We were tied what? for first against another team. And then uh, the runoff question, they won. So, yeah. Do money. you remember what the runoff question that we lost on it was? I don't remember. You don't, Gordon? No, I remember we, there were a couple, I remember a couple that we didn't get, but I remember, I don't remember which was the runoff. <laughs> Otherwise we, we did really good. Yeah. And they let us do an announcement during the, um, during the event about how awesome the public shade tree committee is. <laughs> <laughs> it was about the upcoming planting, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to approval of the minutes. We still have three months behind here. Have you guys read the September, October, and November minutes? I read September and October, but not November. Do you have any comments? At least I don't think I do. All right, so no uh, let's see. Can we approve the minutes? Oops. From all three months, sir. Bennett? Shoshana? Um, what yes. if we do it month by month? Because I, I feel like I shouldn't um, okay. put a can motion if I haven't read September, the November ones. Can we approve the September and October minutes? I move to the, the um, to approve the September minutes. Okay, thumbs up. All right, so those are approved and we'll hold the November minutes till next month and we'll do that with the December minutes. But really I do send them out right away wanting to get comments back as soon as possible and then I want us to have already read them and know that they're good and you know we've corrected any errors and then we can oh, just- Oh, then maybe I did read them if you sent them right after. Because I feel like I feel like normally things get sent right before the meeting, and so then I can't. I, I, if I do it like a month ago, I can't remember that I did it. So I, maybe I did. I think, <laughs> let's hold off on November, but I will send them out again and request that everyone gives me a response right away. Okay. All right. Thanks. So like, yeah. Then we'll know. Then we'll know. And then we don't have to spend time at the meetings dealing with that. All right, um, do you all want to send me your volunteer hours? Uh, Bruce, we collect. Oh, and Alan, don't we have to do the? Uh... Free City USA application? Yeah. yeah. Need all your, your letter discussing your accomplishments for the past year. OK, I'll work on that uh, right away. We apply every year to be a true city, USA city, which we've been for 30 years or so. And uh, one of the things we do is keep track of all the volunteer hours and that goes into the application. So I'll put you all down for one or two hours, depending how long the meeting goes tonight. All right, so. <clears throat> Should I include the, uh, the time that we spent oh um doing the trivia thing because that was publicity for us i would think so sure if you want yeah okay. you could do that yeah all right good thank you um let me look at the 
Chair's report. I have to go get a piece of paper with some information. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Bruce, this is the time for the coup. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that got locked. I'm not sure the time is ripe. <laughs> or what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Okay. Hold on. It looks like I have. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see. Um, this uh, Sunday's, past Sunday's New York Times had in the magazine had a great article on trees and mycorrhizae and uh, more stuff that largely most of us know, but it was good that it was getting publicity. If you get a chance to see the Sunday New York Times magazine, it's worth reading. Um, Tashana, did you put that on Facebook? I, I apologize for interrupting. Did you put that on Facebook? I did not. I did not put okay. anything from I'm, the New York I'm, Times. I'm not asking. I'm not asking it on you. I'm asking because I use Facebook as my cheat when I have to put the newsletter together. So, because <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. So uh, that's why I ask. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'm actually looking for it right I'll now. Try so to I can. Send the link. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and then Bennett, I need your November hours and December yes. hours, and everyone yep. else can give me. Yeah, everyone else send me the December hours. Yes. Oh, Marion and Julian, I need your November hours too. Is Marion still here? Yes, she's still here. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what else on the agenda? Let me close that. Uh, <clears throat> Tree Warden's report, Alan. I not much to talk about. Um, we did pick up uh, six very nice uh, pin oak trees from Wansnick Nursery. Um, they donated that they donated to the town. Um, and they healed in down at Ruxton. They said uh, I could pick up more. I just haven't had a chance to get back there to pick up more uh, trees. Um, let's see. Not a lot going on. We had uh, the vision had a uh, a brush with COVID and. Just about everybody went into quarantine. Um, everyone's fine and everyone's back. Um, but we had a, a uh, greatly reduced staffing for you know, almost two weeks. So, but we're back up. Um, yeah, not, no tree hearings on the foreseeable future. We're doing the removals at the library in North Amherst for the new addition going on it. Um, so that'll be done uh, soon. Uh, that's about it. Not a lot going on uh, to talk about. Just regular tree work. All right. Thank you. And Sarah's dropped off the meeting, so we won't get a treasurer's report. Um, Shoshana. Yep. You have the card stock, right? The cards, I mean? The cards? The, the cards with the pictures of the trees that say, you know, Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee. Didn't Nani I drop think them I off might, I, I remember thinking I needed to get them to Sarah, but I don't know if that actually we ever met. So let me check. Okay. Well, we'll find that out soon. Um, I probably do still have them. Because we need to send a thank you note to Wanzik. Okay. I'll also pass along our newsletter um, uh, to Wanzik as a to to acknowledge to note that we acknowledge them in the newsletter and to thank them again. So um, it's not as if it hasn't gone. We should do that, but it, I, they I've been in touch with them to thank them too. So um, just know that. Yeah, I think a thank you would be nice. Also, <laughs> yes, thank you, yep. Yeah, like this here. Yeah. All right. Do you want to send that out? Sure. Okay. Check in with Bennett about uh, the contact and stuff like that. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, oh, also, um, yeah, those six pin oaks, I, I met with the people from the brook, and they're definitely interested in the planting in the spring. 
And I'm still waiting to hear from the boulders whether that will happen. But we're moving along on that. All right. Um, presentations and discussions. Second Saturday planting, so next year. We have definitely uh, the brook and I forget what else we had, another one is in the minutes, but my brain's not running, I don't know. Um, but I have the minutes here somewhere. Glendale Road and uh, Mill Lane and the Brook so far. And we got a, an email from somebody who lives on Pondview Drive. There's a natural area, natural area called Markert's Pond and the trees along the street in front of it died and she wants us to replace. So they're close, they're very close to Glendale Road. I thought when we do the Glendale planting, we can add those in there. Does that make sense, Alan? Sorry. The spring, uh, uh, spring planting. The spring planting at Glendale, we can add in a few trees at the entrance to Mockert's Pond conservation area. Yeah, I mean, we just need to run that through the conservation department if they want to do plantings there and see, you know, what fits with them. No, I think these are on the street, though, along the street at the end. My understanding was, because the right-of-way there isn't that wide. Um, I think it's actually okay. along the conservation area. So we just would, we'd want to, you know, I, I need to meet with them and see where they're talking about and then coordinate with the conservation department if, in fact, they want to do a planting there, so. No. Okay. Not a problem. You check on that? Yes. Great. Thanks. All right. I'm sorry. Which location was that? Say it again. I'm sorry. Which location was that? The Brook or? It's, no, that's the uh, Glendale Road. Glendale Road. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That was Pond View, wasn't it? Pond View Drive? Yes by the Markert uh, Recreation Area? Yes. All right. Um, any other locations that people come up with? Keep your eyes out. Uh, Bruce, Gina, uh, Marion, if you see uh, other locations where we could put in a bunch of trees, Especially, you know, very public locations. That'd be great to to get that on the list. I have yeah, a question. There, there's there's at least one spot that I saw that's like in front of, um, like right on um, Pleasant Street, in front of like one of the bars. That's like a dirt patch right now. You know how they have like the the vacant spot. It's not sidewalk. There's like the the dirt patch that's like as big as the square of a sidewalk. There's one of those that feels like it could have a tree. This is downtown? Is North, North Pleasant, East Pleasant? Um, North Pleasant. Over by um, Cross from Kennedy Park or where are you talking about? No, it's um, it's like right in like the thick of it all. The, it's like, it's like in, in I don't want to say like right in front of Judy's, but maybe like in front of that typewriter shop. Oh, over there, yes. One of the empty tree, we have several empty tree pits there that we need to. Um... Oh, is that what it's called, a tree pit? I wasn't sure what the actual word for it was. <laughs> tree prison, tree pit. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good. Uh, I was wondering. We talked about the significant trees talked about the placards, um, t-shirts. Have they come in? Um, I have, sorry to interrupt. I haven't gotten any like word from that they were paid yet. I figured that would come from town, right? Yeah, the paperwork has been processed. So um, they probably have. Uh, receives, you know, notice of payment, but we should just check again, I guess, if you want to check your contact. Okay. Okay. I'll call them tomorrow. 
Thank you. I know there's going to be work done at the Pomeroy Village Center, where 116 and Pomeroy Lane connect. Is there going to be room included for trees in that project or not? I have not seen the design light for that yet. I don't know if we actually have a design for it, you know, you know, engineer drawing of that new uh, intersection, but um, I'll look into it. Thank you. Where is that? West, West Street and Pomeroy Lane, the, the, the four way intersection there with stoplights is getting redesigned. Okay, good. Uh, anything new on the website? Have you done anything, Bennett? You're muted. Yeah, I've got it all figured out. Um, I, um, I do have something to show you um, and I'm gonna share my screen. Um, let me find the... I have so many windows open. I'm sorry. Okay. Have you talked to the IT people? That's part of the pro. Um, that is a problem. Um, no, I haven't heard back. I've emailed them several times and haven't heard back. And you know, part of me says that. Um, I, I can only imagine what IT and COVID and municipal government looks like right now. Um, so, which doesn't change that our need to do something, but um, but I haven't I haven't pressed it in about a month. So I'll go back to them again, um, see if I can shake shake out a response. I mean, I haven't even gotten a response. So um, uh, that said, I will you know kind of thinking about how this kind of anticipating how this project might go. Um, I can't imagine walking into uh, a meeting. <clears throat> well, I can't imagine walking into a meeting at all these days. But if we were to walk into a meeting, um, you know, I'm, I I think that my guess is that the town um, would want uh, rather than walk in and say, "I want to completely rethink everything on our page and help me," you know, I generate new ideas and brainstorm. I think they're probably probably going to be more in the mode of how can what. <laughs> fit what you want to do into the current template, um, which, you know, um, may not be what we want to do. It is how I started. Uh, and I, I wanted to, I'll send this out after the meeting. It's not very complicated, but I felt like it would uh, help to have some conversation about it first. Um, and as I show you this also consider, I don't know how to, you know, maybe this is a, this is probably worth a, a two or three person subcommittee. Um, so we don't, you know, as, as this, this will require more of these types of conversations, which probably aren't useful for the entire group until we have something to share, or I can just do it myself with your guidance. But, um, but uh, so I looked at the current uh, landing page for the group, and I really gave some thought to this. You know, like right now, this is this is you're looking at a, a screen grab of the current site, um, and really the thing to, for us to change uh, to really think about in terms of navigation is. You know, what fits in our what what menu items we want to have um, without going through each one of these I think some of them are like for example I, I think I'm remembering right Alan that request a tree is something that for months or maybe a year you've wanted to get rid of because we're not really doing that uh, anymore um, it is in we don't have a bounty of trees where people can just um, request and get one so um, so things like that I kind of took into consideration um, and when I send this out, it's just a two page um, PowerPoint, but um, it helps to kind of toggle in between these two. Um, I've, I've updated these menu items here uh, and uh, you know, it, it's not very complicated, but it's, it doesn't help if I'm just gonna keep, you know, for me to keep toggling between slide to slide, it's probably not very helpful either, but um, it's an arrangement of, you know, this is the type of content I think that we should have um, and it fits in the exact same number of slots, which is by design. Um, and I, you know, I think the first step is for us to figure out, are these the right categories? Um, and if they are, then, you know, that's probably, you know, uh, I'm not a web designer, but I think that that's, you know, um, as long as we're not changing that, like, 
if there are six navigation uh, tabs and we wanted to put 12 in, that will probably be a big deal. But if there's six navigation tabs and we're saying we just want to update the six and replace and keep six, that's probably a lot easier. Um, so I wanted to do that. I also want to put, um, I think that probably the best thing that we can have here is our uh, some sort of mission statement. Doesn't have to be over engineered, but um, uh, but something that tells, you know, I, I love this quote actually, but I don't, um, I, I think that, that we need to start with exactly who we are and why we exist um, and, you know, things like that. But really right now, the menu is the thing that I want you all to look out for um, and think about what's missing. Uh, is there anything here that's wrong? Um, just if you're squinting at your screen, I can tell you it's because there's only six, the, the tabs are who we are and how to reach us how you can help. So I think that for me, I think engaging people on a volunteer basis, because people who come, people who take the time to come to this page are interested in trees. Um, they, you know, they, 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 they probably are predisposed to help to be volunteers and we should encourage that. Um, there's also upcoming events, which of course is, um, you know, especially in the spring, summer and fall um, seasons uh, important for us, uh, make a donation. I, that's another that's questionable. I think um, I, I think we should have that front and center. I think that um, uh, that soliciting donations is not our the, the main uh, our, our reason for being, but it's not something we should avoid either or make we should at least make it easy for people to do if they want to do it. Um, FAQs and I think is drawing from existing. I think we already have some of that uh, and uh, become a member which um, um, which would help. Um, uh, clarify the process for folks like Bruce, um, uh, just on a, we can always point to that. So that's what I'm trying, that's kind of my kind of going in thoughts about this. And um, I would, uh, like I said, I, I'll send this short piece out uh, after, to everyone after the call. Um, and uh, I, I guess um, maybe we should bundle it, Henry, if you've got, rather than all of us sending out different things, maybe should I send this to you and you send it out along with the minutes and anything else that we need to send or how do you, um, I'm, I'm open to whatever you want to do, whatever's easiest. No, I think, um, I think send it separately. Okay. Uh, the minutes I want, yeah, you know, keep separate, particularly in, in meetings. Sure. So, yeah. Um, this is great, Ben. This is a really good start. I'm happy to meet with you. Does anybody else want to join us for that? It's going to be fascinating. <laughs> hey, this is Gina. Let me just add one thing. Um, I do like the quote, and I would like to have a quote somewhere. Yeah. And, um, you know, without, I know this is heresy, and without you all thinking that I have some severe character flaw, I don't like mission statements. I mean, okay, Bennett, I see why we should perhaps have one, but let's make sure there's also this quote along with it. Yeah, no, it's not, yeah, it's not, this is not a core corporate um you know um this isn't a corporate entity I, we should you know we should I, I have no need to get rid of that quote i like it uh, and there are probably other ones that we should look at too but um but you know as soon as you get there what is this thing you know what is this group um, no it's I'm, not that I'm complicated that. Yeah. yeah 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 right no character flaw here okay <laughs> I've made a note on your file. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, any other kind of obvious red herrings? Um, kind of thinking of, you know, Alan, if there's something, if you're like, geez, you know, make a donation is a huge, uh, that's something that we don't, you know, we don't have the infrastructure to support it. We don't really need it. You know, like anything like that, that's obvious, let's just strike it or that's missing, let's add it. Um, um, so, uh, I think it would be great if we had like a donate button where you, you know, you press the button and then they can just, you know, PayPal the money to us directly. Yep. I think that would make it a lot more yep. like easy like, like for people to do it. Sure. Because I don't yeah, think I mean, anyone's going to write us a check and mail it and go through all those hoops, you know, just to give just, us their money. We just need to make sure because it is, you know, this goes in through the town clerk's office, essentially all transactions, yeah. you know, um, go through that. And um, 
we would need to look on the back end to see how that is done. You know, it's a good idea. I just, you know, the, the reality takes of in payment town bureaucracy. Somehow. Yeah, I guess Holly would have to be um, contacted on how to actually make that happen. Right. You want to look into that, Shoshana? Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, at the same time, I assume that this is something that if I can ever get a hold of somebody in IT over there, this is probably something they've encountered before for some other reason too. So um, that said, I haven't been having luck getting in, getting through to them. So um, yeah, the, the best thing they're you know they're swapped. I'm sure um, they are. Yeah. And uh, they do have a work request system. I think you can like email it to them or yeah. something. And they're actually they do create a work ticket and they do track okay. it and. Um, Cool. Sometimes calling sometimes won't get you very far, but the yep. work tickets do. Um, yeah, I don't. That don't. I, I don't think that I missed that. Um, I mean, I, I don't. I don't think I saw it and avoided it. So I'll have to look for it and make sure that I, that that's that would be ideal. Thank you, Alan. Great. Anything Great. else, Bennett? That's it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Sharing. Uh, Anything else new on the Facebook site, Shoshana? Uh, I've just been like, you know, out. posting stuff that tree related things <laughs> that I find. Okay. Good. All right. Um, fundraising and well we talked about that briefly and also i would really like us to get it as a line item for the town that every year there's so much money goes into the tree fund either through alan's budget or our budget um so i don't know how to make that happen and maybe we don't need to do that tonight but something we should be thinking about and working toward you know maybe go to the town council and say you know the trees are an important resource they, you know, they're an infrastructure that actually pays dividends every year instead of costing more money. And um, we need that town to step up and support that. So it doesn't have to be a huge amount. It can be a small amount, but just some line item that then later we can say, gee, we need more money in that, but to get it started as a line item would be great. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll sorry. contact I my. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, I think I think we're actually going to the same place. I was going to say that the one uh, counselor who has joined several of our meetings and come to some of our plans is Kathy Shane, who I think is your rep. Um, that might be a place to start. And also, uh, given her kind of ongoing advocacy for environmental issues, Darcy is a natural um, just to kind of under just to have the conversation to understand how you know how to move this ahead. Uh, those are two obvious candidates. Does anybody know Darcy personally? I do not. None of us? <laughs> you know your people. I'll, I'll contact Kathy at least. And maybe I'll Good contact start. Darcy too, but uh, I don't have a personal relationship with her. But all right. Good. All right. Um, any other fundraising ideas? Julian, you're going to ask all your rich friends and relatives to donate? <laughs> okay. Um, anything else? Are there any hearings coming up at all, Alan? I haven't heard of anything. We've got some road projects coming up in the spring, Henry Street. Um, uh, Bridge Street, short section of Pine Street, um, but we're just doing mostly crown lifting and taking down dead and decayed trees. No, uh, no, no removals at this point in time have been identified. All right, um, looking over my lists. That's mostly the stuff that I have. Uh, Apologize again that it was such a rough start. And um, is Bruce still here? Or did he leave? I am. Oh, there you are. Good. Okay. I'm here. And Marion, are you still there? Yep, she's there. Okay. Just hiding from us. So, anybody have any other comments?
There you are. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's uh, end the meeting for now. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in January, second Tuesday again. I want to, does this time work for everybody? I want to check with Sarah again because she missed last month and had to leave early this month. So, does this time work for everybody that's here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, that can be a conversation for the next month if Sarah needs to change it. Otherwise, we'll keep it. All right. Everyone be well. Happy right. New Year. And uh, God, we'll right? see you in January. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks, care. everybody. And don't forget, send me your hours. Yes, Bye -bye. hours. Disappear. Thanks for coming, Bruce. My pleasure. It was interesting. Good. All right.